I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you application questions based on linear systems. A piggy bank has 145 coins with a total of $22.65. If all the coins are nickels and quarters, how many of each are there? So now we know that there are 145 coins in all and all coins are either nickels or quarters. So let's write down the let statement first. Let the number of nickels be n and quarters be q, right? So you should define variables which are kind of relevant, right? So nickels and quarters. Now it says the piggy bank has 145 coins, so we get one statement which is a piggy bank has 145 coins and this could be written as an equation n plus q equals to 145 correct and we'll write this as equation number one for us now it also says that a piggy bank has 145 coins with a total of dollars 22.65 that means the value of both all these coins is 22 dollars 65 cents now, what is the value of a nickel? Well, value of nickel is 5 cents, right? So we could write this as 0 0.05 in dollars, is it okay? Since this value is in dollars, and quarters is 25 cents, or in dollars, we can write 0 0.25 dollars, correct? So the value of n nickels is going to be 0 0.05 n. The value of q quarters will be 0 0.25 q, right? And the total value is given to us as 22.65. Do you see that? So we get the second equation using the second part of the first statement. Once we have these two equations, we can do substitution or elimination to solve. Now here, it is good to write one variable in terms of the other. So from equation number one, we can actually rewrite and write nickels equals to 145 minus Q. So we got nickels in terms of quarters. We'll call this as equation number three. Is that okay? Now, we can substitute this value of nickels in the second equation. So let's do that. So what we'll get here is 0 0.05. Instead of nickels, I'm writing 145 minus Q. And we already have 0 0.25 quarters equals to 22.65. So we what? What did we do? We substituted 3 in 2, right? So we did sub 3 in 2, correct? That is what we did. Now we can multiply, open the bracket, simplify by combining the like terms and solve. So let's do it. So 0 0.05 times 145 is equals to, let's do it in decimal, 7.25. So we have 7.25 minus 0.05q plus 0.25q equals to 22.65. Now, 0.25 minus 0 0.05 gives you 0.20q, right? We'll take this 7.25 to the right side, so we get 22.65 minus 7.25. Is it okay? Now, let's find what this is. So we have 22.65 take away 7.25 that gives us 15.40. So we have 15.40 is 0.20 Q. So from here we can actually find the number of quarters. Correct? So let me rewrite this. So what is number of quarters equals to? Number of quarters will be 15.40 divided by 0.2, right? So that is, let's do it. So we have 15.4 divided by 0 0.2, which is 77. So we get 77 quarters. Once we know the number of quarters, we can find the number of nickels by substituting Q in N, the third equation, right? So let us write down this equation as equation 4. And now we'll sub substitute, that means, equation 4 in 3, right? So that is to say, number of quarters here. 
So we have nickels as equals to 145 minus 77, right? So the number of nickels will be 145 take away 77, which is 68, right? So we get the total number of nickels and quarters. So our answer is number of nickels is 68 and number of quarters is 77, right? So that is how you can actually solve such questions. So from the given conditions, write two different equations after defining your variables, very important. And then you can do substitution or elimination to find the answer. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.